Nicky, what are your thoughts on that? It was uh, certainly a feisty game in places. How did, how did you view it for your team? Well, obviously we're disappointed again, and uh, yeah, it's been a bad week. The home defeats on the bounce is never easy. It's never, never nice. Never, never nice for our supporters. That's sure. But uh, you know, disappointed, disappointed again, and, and bitterly disappointed with the way we defended both goals. What did you think of the timing for the second? Inside 20 seconds for the second. I suppose that throws your team talk out of the window at half time. Well, you know, I mean, I think uh, immediately after the game, emotions are high, and I think that I'm, I'm best if I can keep keep my own counsel at this moment in time. Um, disappointed with it. Something we talked about at half time. Didn't think we won enough headers uh, off the big man. You know, we needed to be a bit cleverer with him. Uh, and then to see that after 20 seconds of the, the restart, it you was know, disappointing and uh, you know, it's not good enough. What have you discussed afterwards with the players? What are you going to do to try and get things to get things back on track after three defeats? Well, uh, you know, I think the, the disappointing aspect from our point of view is that we keep giving teams lifts. And, you know, we're always chasing and we've chased the last three games really and uh, uh, it's not been good enough. Certainly, uh, you know, from an attacking point of view, we've seen once again, you know, glimpses of what we're capable of doing. I think we, you know, we were certainly unfortunate not to have scored, with, not to have scored many more than one goals here today. I think we've missed some clear-cut chances. But it's the way we defend that's worrying me, I have to say. And, uh, you know, we, uh, what we need to do is as I've said to the players, is the only way that we can ever rectify this is by reporting back on Monday and working doubly hard uh, for the rest of the week and leading up to the Peterborough game. But, but certainly, you know, we, we've got a, I've got a lot of food for thought. You know, my, 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 thought uh, my thoughts and uh, my thinking are all over the place at this moment in time. You know, because as I've said to the boys, I've given everybody other than Lloyd and Smith opportunity so far this season and I, I feel as though we're underachieving uh, but certainly we can't defend like we, we've done all season if you like you know maybe we've papered over the cracks a little bit uh, but but certainly you know we have to work doubly hard at the way we go about things particularly from a de defensive point of view uh, and there's too too many people making basic errors. Well, you said it, it's given you a lot of food for thought. What do you have to think now? Doing better with the players you've got, maybe new personnel if you're allowed. What, what have you got to think now? No, I, 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 I would think that uh, we'll work with the players that we've got. Like we've always ever done this with and, uh, you know, I, I, I've not lost uh, my faith in, in the players that we've got at the club, but certainly they, they should be doing better, and they know them. But every time we make a, an error, it's costing us at the moment. Looking at, at your lineup, certainly after you made two of your three changes, it, it, it was attacking. And is that what disappoints you more? That the fact that the players you've got, you know, are better, as you just touched on, than what we've seen today. You know, you can get a lot more out of the players than what we've seen today. Well, I'm not only talking about defenders now. I'm talking about some of the, uh, you know, some of the other personnel as well. That you know, they're not playing up to the potential that they showed perhaps in the first few games. But that can happen, you know, I mean, uh, I've said to you many times before that a football season has its peaks and troughs. You know, at this moment in time we're going through a bit of a trough and we'll have to work our way through it and, uh, and respond because I know there'll be uh, the doubters and the cynics will be out there be having a field day with us at this moment in time. But, you know, we've got to be broad-shouldered enough to accept what we've done so far has not been good enough and we have to try and put it right, it's simple as that. Positively, just finally, are you happy to get your man in eventually, Jordan Slew signing yesterday? Yeah, of, of course, you know, that's been, uh, we've been chasing him for a while, we need to get him some games now and, uh, you know, he'll it, be, on, it'll be a slightly disappointed that he's offside for the, uh, for the, the, the tapping that he had, but, uh, you know, once he gets up and running and I can get him back, because let's face it, you know, he's had the, he's had the, uh, the confidence knocked out of him, the, the kid. You know, he had a £1.1 million move to Blackman Rovers and, you know, he was reaching for the stars. Unfortunately, it's not worked out for him and now we have to try and rebuild him and, and get him out there again. Hard luck today, thanks for coming.